Hi guys, so in today's video, I'm going to go over iPadOS 18. So, let's go. So, there is a big major change in this update. I really like the new features, so I'm going to go over some of them. My favorite feature is the require face ID one. So, you just um, hold down, like the app you want to lock and click on require face id so i'm gonna try to find a third party app because these are all not third party apps so we do fruit ninja require face id so then you have hide and require face id or just require face id i'm gonna do require face id first and then you do um and then you have to like authenticate yourself with face ID. <clears throat> and then like when you like open the app, you're gonna need face ID. And then if you don't wanna re require face ID, you just click on don't require face ID. And then, whoops. And then you don't need face ID. Now you can also hide and require face id that puts it in the special folder so that it's hidden so no one can see it and you won't get any notifications so i require face id and then you get the splash screen hive fruit ninja classic and then a secured app appearance so it will be secure and no notifications calls or alerts hide app and now it's hidden and if you want to edit it and delete it you have to require face id whoa why is it doing that oh my god <laughs> guys what the heck there we go sorry um and if you want to delete the app you need to authenticate first i don't want to do that though so oh my god bro I'm not entering my passcode. Oh my god. What is going on? Sorry guys. Sorry. <sighs> Apple. What are you doing? Literally. Look. It's me. Oh my god. Okay. Anyway. Moving on from that. So. Yeah. You can record your face ID. And you guys probably already noticed this. But. You can see that my apps here are like darker than normal. So these only work on like Apple apps. You can see like on Roblox or Minecraft, it's not dark. So yeah, it might work on some third party apps, but for now it's just Apple. So if you wanna do this, hold down to edit, go up to edit here and click on customize. And then you'll see this little screen here you can do light, which is normal, dark, automatic, which means like when it's like night, then it's gonna like switch to dark and or tinted. So you can change it to any color you want. I'm gonna keep it as dark because I like that, large or small, but I'm gonna keep it as normal. So then we're gonna go to settings. And then another cool feature that is in accessibility. It's called eye tracking. Now this is a really handy dandy feature because sometimes you just need to like find a way to do it without your hands or something, I don't know. But it's really cool. So you just turn it on and then, whoa, what happened? Okay, whoa, anyway. Then you have to like, do like, you have to follow the dots. Why does it keep doing that? All right. All right. It, it keeps doing something. Bring my face into view. Okay, I have to move the camera to do this. All right, so you look at the dots and then it should work. And you can blink. So I'm just following the orange dot. Now it's red. It's cool. Yellow. 
Where are you, bro? Are we done? This takes a little while. Once he gets into the middle, it's done. All right, should be done. And as you can see, now I can like follow it with my eyes. So I have to bring my face and look, I cancel. Yeah, as you guys can see, it's very, very hard to use. Like I'm gonna look at cancel. Like I'm trying to look at cancel. No, like no, it's really difficult. And yeah. And another cool feature is in the notes app. So we could just go to notes. And I just like have these random things. So uh let's see. We're just gonna go to here or notes, make a new one, and you just here comes the feature. You like it, wait, it's not here for some reason. One sec, one sec, one sec. All all right. Oh, what is going on, bro? Why? What? <laughs> Guys, I don't know what that is. This is weird. All right. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I let my friends on my iPad. I don't know why. They just do random things. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. Anyway, so it's called the refining tool. Let me just plug in my Apple Pencil. Oops, what? Is it connecting? Connect it. Okay. Get my Apple Pencil. Handy dancy Apple Pencil. Anyway, I'm going to write down hi like sloppy it should refine it see how it, like refines it hello it refines it in like the same like way you rate it so yeah you guys can just do that now like if you like make it really really sloppy like let me just erase this like really sloppy like hello it's gonna refine it it's not gonna refine it yeah it's not see why and another feature in notes is just plug this in is um the transcribing thing with like voice memos so you go up here click on attachments then you click on record audio then to do transcribing you click on this button up here and then you click on the red button so as you can see, like, it's just following what I'm saying. Now, it might not detect what you're saying because you might say it wrong. But this is really cool. So far, I got everything right. So that's really nice. And also, you guys can't just click done. You have to click pause and then done. And that's a really cool feature. Now, it's the control center, the next one. Go up here. It is very, very different, as you guys can see. So, yeah. And also, if you guys want to, like, add things, you just hold it down and then until they, like, wiggle. And then you click on add a control voice memo or this is another one, cool one. If you want to add a section, you click on trans translate and you can also size these i don't know why it's not sizing but it is a little bit buggy um now guys i before we move on i just want to tell you guys something one downside that i'm having is the messages app it's not working like there are no nothing nothing sending no facetime calls are coming in so i have to just use my watch to do that and you guys are probably wondering why it's harry potter because i really like harry potter so just like that anyway next is the passwords app and then we'll move on to the calculator app which y'all have been waiting for in the ipad so we do passwords and like it's going to show like face id and basically, I don't want to show you guys my passwords. I'm sorry. It's just privacy. You know what I mean? But I will give you... It's it's basically just like the password section in settings just in an app. That's it. Next, we're going to go to the calculator app. So, this is amazing. I love this app so much. 
It does look big though. That's one thing. Maybe if I turn it. Let's try. Let's try turning it. Let me just do this so it detects it. Okay, lock. All right. So it does look a little bit better, but I'm gonna just turn it back. It it does look a little bit big though, which is a okay. And yeah. Anyway, so it's basically a calculator app on the iPhone, but you just it's it's on the iPad. It's, I'm just gonna do like something simple like one plus one that's two and also if you guys go down to this button right here calculator app the button you can also click on scientific calculations i don't know what this means but oh my god what did i just do what does e times 45 mean i don't even know that's confusing but it means something anyway how do i clear or you can do math notes. This is another cool thing with um, Apple Pencil. I'm just going to erase all this because I was just testing it. Just erase, 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 erase. Right, all right. Oh, no, that's sad. Just erase that. Anyway, so it also can refine it for you. So we're just going to go to... Um, oh my god, what? I was going to try to type it high. So we're going to go to 2 plus 2 equals what? And it's going to it's gonna give you the answer, but it's going to also try to do it in your handwriting. So that's really cool. So now we're, um, that's basically it, guys. And also the battery life, it's okay. It's at 84%. That's because I charged it. And sometimes I just have to put in low batter, p power mode because it just drains so quickly. But overall, the My Messages app and FaceTime is not working. That's one downside. So, but everything else, it's like a normal iPad. So guys, if you guys like this video and it helped you, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.